या चर्चासत्रामध्ये सहभागी होणाऱ्या मान्यवरांना मी इथे आमंत्रित करते सर्वप्रथम मॉडरेटर श्रीयुत चिदंबर जोशी त्यानंतर पॅनलिस्टमध्ये जे सहभागी आहेत त्या मान्यवरांना आमंत्रित करते डेप्युटी सी एफ ओ डॉक्टर दीपक घोष मुंबई अग्निशमन केंद्राचे सर आम्हाला कन्फ्युजन असतं म्हणूनच त्यावर प्रकाश टाकण्यासाठी आज आपली उपस्थिती इथे खूपच मोलाची आहे यानंतर श्रीयुत उल्हास वजरे श्री कमलेश शहा श्री हेमंत साळी आणि श्री देवज्योती मुखर्जी जनजागृतीसाठीच्या किंवा इतरही माहितीपर अशा उपक्रमांमधून अग्निशमन दलाच्या अनेक अधिकाऱ्यांशी भेट होत असते आणि त्यांच्याकडनं ज्या काही गोष्टी जाणून घेता येतात त्या नेहमीच समृद्ध करणाऱ्या असतात आणि आजही असाच क्षण आपल्या सगळ्यांसाठी या मान्यवरांचं स्वागत करण्यासाठी सर्वप्रथम मी श्री सचिन फडतरे यांना इथे आमंत्रित करते मान्यवरांचं स्वागत करण्यासाठी श्री चिदंबर जोशी यांचं स्वागत त्यांनी करावं अशी विनंती यानंतर श्री संदीप शिंदे यांना इथे आमंत्रित करते संदीप शिंदे डॉक्टर घोष यांचं स्वागत करण्यासाठी श्रीयुत सूरज अहिरे यांना आमंत्रित करते यानंतर श्री विनोद पाटील यानंतर श्रीयुत समर्थ निकम भरत देवरे Today we are in August company to be very frank uh, we have the dignitaries on the stage and let me introduce them one by one so i'll start with dr deepak ghosh dr deepak ghosh is a phd in environmental sciences he is a msc in disaster management fire engineer he has done his post graduation from the uk he is a his uh, ne uh, nfsc diploma dis dhrm diploma in music he is the deputy C cfo of the mumbai fire brigade <laughs> dr deepak ghosh is actually an awardee of the president's fire safety fire service medal for gallantry he is also a recipient of the president's medal for special services he is an ardent sportsman he has been a cyclist he has cycled for more than 200 kilometers he is a regular enthusiast in sports and plays a number of games he has been trained in korea he has been trained in number of countries which he can tell us later on uh, he 
is right here in front of us, speaks excellent Marathi. Don't worry, if you have a Marathi question, you can easily get it. You can get it easily. You can get it easily. I'll move on to Mr. Hemant Sari. Hemant Sari is a MI Chartered Engineer. He's a technical advisor. He retired from the electrical wing of Public Works Department of Government of Maharashtra with a total service period of 39 and a half years. He worked as an electrical inspector and executive engineer along with additional charge of superintending engineer. His experience during tenure was under the inspectorate wing, juridically interpreting, implementing and administering statutory provisions under the laws related to electricity. He was involved in investigating electrical accidents as quasi-judicial authority, finding root causes and suggesting remedial measures. His experience during tenure under execution wing, design, construction, and maintenance of electrical installations, LV systems, HVAC, firefighting and detection, lifts, etc., in various types of government buildings of various categories, including residential, administrative, educational, hospitals, etc., has played a prominent role in preparation of the Red Book, com comprising specifications for electrical work. He is an alternate member in BISCED 46 committee. Uh, of NBC 2060 on behalf of Government of Maharashtra. On behalf of Maharashtra, he has performed prominent and major role in giving suggestions and sending comments on draft regulations 2010, a prominent role in drafting accident rules and electricity duty act, active role in giving suggestions and discussions of the draft CA regulations 2023. He has contributed as an electrical safety expert in the committee formed by Government of Maharashtra to give suggestions on special safety regulations for building safety against man-made disasters. Post-retirement, he is working as a technical advisor to the Ministry of Roads, Highways and Transport, Government of India for Maharashtra region in the works of electrical utility shifting, transmission distribution network, obstructing, widening of construction of national highways. Also worked as electrical safety advisor lecturer in various seminars. So, welcome Mr. Sai. Next, we have Mr. Kamlesh Shah. Managing Director of Listen Lights. Kamlesh Shah, Founder and Managing Director of Listen Lights, is a stalwart with over 45 years of dedicated leadership and he has shaped listening, Listen Lights India into India's fastest growing MEP service provider. He was born in 1958. He began his illustrious career at the Sardar Patel College of Engineering, Mumbai, where his academic acumen in mathematics and physics led him to a degree of electrical engineering. Mr. Shah started a pan electricals as a site engineer, but his entrepreneurial spirit eventually brought him to co-founding Listen Lights in 1983 with the goal of raising the bar for electrical service standards. His leadership has not only propelled Listen Lights, but also become aware of one of the most prominent respected professionals in the industry. With a keen sense of strategy, Mr. Shah has represented ECAM at BIS while serving as secretary on the board from 2007 to 2013. He has been leading ECAM's taxation committee for over a decade and has a deep understanding of taxation standards. His education is BE in Electrical Engineering and Diploma in Business Management from SP Jain College. Welcome, Mr. Kamlesh Shah. <laughs> Next, we have uh, Mr. Ullas Vazre. He was basically a hardcore graduate electrical engineer having more than 38 years of practical experience in the field of projects, operation and maintenance, energy and safety of various industries including heavy chemicals, petrochemicals, engineering, pharma, oil and gas, infrastructure, etc. He has executed many green fields and brownfield projects including installation, testing and commissioning of EHV and HV substations. You know, associated with SIDCO as an independent engineer for pre-development work of Navi Mumbai International Airport involving the conversion of 220 kV extra high voltage tower lines to underground cabling system involving 220 kV four numbers GIS switching stations and two numbers of 220 kV and substations between 2018 and 2020 for two years. He is an electrical consultant, provided electrical consultancy from concept to commissioning to many industries. As an energy and safety auditor, he has carried out hundreds of energy and safety audits in various industrial, commercial, residential and hospital facilities and was involved in finding root cause analysis of fires occurred in industries. 
उल्हास बाजरेंचे आता मी क्वालिफिकेशन्स जर वाचले तर तुम्हाला लक्षात येईल ते कुठे कुठे काय काय करतात मिस्टर उल्हास बाजरे इज एन ऑथोराइज चार्टर्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी इंजिनियर बाय द चीफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इन्स्पेक्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ही इज अ मेंबर नॅशनल सेफ्टी काउन्सिल एन एस सी मुंबई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लेबर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ही इज एम्पॅनल्ड फायर अँड लाईफ सेफ्टी ऑडिटर एम सी जी एम ही इज अ मेंबर ऑफ फायर अँड सेक्युरिटी असोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया एफ एस ए आय मेंबर फायर अँड फायर सेफ इंडिया फाउंडेशन एफ एस आय रेकग्नाइज्ड कॉम्पिटंट पर्सन अंडर पेट्रोलियम रूल्स टू थाउजंड टू बाय पेट्रोलियम अँड एक्सप्लोजिव्ह सेफ्टी ऑर्गनायझेशन पेसो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स अँड इंडस्ट्रीज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ही इज सर्टिफाईड एनर्जी ऑडिटर बाय द ब्युरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियन्सी इज अ चार्टर्ड इंजिनियर अँड लाईफ मेंबर इन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंजिनियर्स इज अ लाईफ फेलो मेंबर ऑफ इंडियन सोसायटी ऑफ लाईटिंग इंजिनियर्स इंडियन इन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल इंजिनिअरिंग इज अ फेलो इन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ व्हॅल्युअर्स लाईफ फेलो मेंबर ऑफ इंडियन असोसिएशन ऑफ एनर्जी मॅनेजमेंट प्रोफेशनल्स जेम ग्रीन बिल्डिंग सर्टिफाईड प्रोफेशनल बाय ॲसो कॅम अँड एन सॅट सर्टिफाईड सेफ्टी प्रोफेशनल बाय एन एस सी आय वेलकम मिस्टर वाजरे वी हॅव मिस्टर देब ज्योती मुखर्जी ही इज अ वाईस प्रेसिडेंट विथ पॉलिकॅब वायर्स अँड वायर्स लिमिटेड फ्रॉम टू थाउजंड फोर्टीन ऑनवर्ड्स हिज रोल हॅज बीन uh in technical marketing he has done design and technology of wires and cables technical marketing production consultancy project execution plant and machinery selection and prior to that um, uh he was deputy general manager lap india from 2010 to 2013 technical design vendor development costing technical marketing production management and educational collaboration sir welcome mr dev jyoti mukherjee itki sagli ग्रेट लोक तिथे असताना मी काय करतो हा एक चांगला प्रश्न आहे तर मी सी व्ही जोशी मी बी ई आणि पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएशन केलं मास्टर ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग केलं पॉवर सिस्टीम अनाल पॉवर सिस्टीममध्ये आणि बारा वर्ष मी टाटा कन्सल्टिंग इंजिनियर्समध्ये होतो त्यानंतर अकरा वर्ष ब्लॅक अँड विचमध्ये होतो आणि मग मी ठरवलं की दुसऱ्याकडला नोकरी करण्यापेक्षा स्वतःचीच कन्सल्टन्सी सुरू करावी म्हणून मी माझी स्वतःची कंपनी फॉर्म केली मैत्री से टेक्नॉलॉजीज प्रायव्हेट लिमिटेड मी आता बिल्डिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स करतो ऑइल अँड गॅस प्रोजेक्ट्स करतो सगळ्या सेक्टर्समध्ये जातो फार्मामध्ये पण आता स्टार्ट केलेलं आहे वी डू बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रिकल डिझाईन आणि आय हॅव आय एम ऑल्सो अ चार्टर्ड इंजिनियर विथ इन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंजिनियर्स इंडिया अँड माय मेंबरशिप जस्ट एक्सपायर्ड विथ चार्टर्ड इंजिनियर यू के सो टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी हाऊ टू प्रिव्हेंट फायर्स इन हाय रायज बिल्डिंग्स so i'll take my seat first and then we'll have this discussion on going right so sagancha ata introduction round zalele ahet ani ata prashnottaranchi phairi suru karuya apan we will be using all the languages marathi hindi and english so feel free to ask any question if you feel so pan apan adhi aple dais varche prashna sampu ani then we will come to the question and answer session okay सो फायर आणि सेफ्टी म्हटली की भारतात इट इज चॅलेंजिंग सो आय जस्ट गिव्ह यू एक्झाम्पल ऑफ अ हायराईज बिल्डिंग आणि हायराईज म्हटलं की त्याच्यात लिफ्ट्स ह्या अनिवार्य असतात आपल्याला कुठेही वर जायचं असेल वरच्या मजल्यावरती तर लिफ्ट घ्यायला लागती भारतात बघितलं तर लिफ्टच्या लायसन्स पद्धतीत अँड दिस जस्ट अ स्टार्ट लायसन्स पद्धती म्हटलं लिफ्टच्या की तिथे महाराष्ट्रात वेगळी सिस्टीम असते दिल्लीत वेगळी असते वेस्ट बेंगॉलमध्ये वेगळी असते so my first question i'll start with the, an ex electrical inspector ki safety in india in high rise buildings is different in different states to tumhala yacha baddal kay mhanacha mhanje how do we get people at par hello yeah see uh, in respect of safety we follow ca regulations and ca regulations have been framed for the whole uh, all states not uh, separate for each state of course electricity is a concurrent subject so each states has some powers to make changes amendments or some deviations in the ca regulations but i have seen that almost no state has made any deviation in the uh, ca regulations which has been framed by the central electricity authority so we have to follow that there is no such a difference in amongst the states to follow the rules and regulations 
and enforcement is the only question which states how enforces the rules and regulations. So there may be some difference. Okay, so um, the question, uh, of course, that um, the lift inspector, I think that is a different inspector. Yeah, the lift, uh, see, lift inspector is part of electrical inspector at wing, and uh, licenses, of course, lift act and rules are separate for each state. That is true, and uh, rules uh, rules are separate for each state. But I think there is some efforts are being done to uh, make a uniform uh, uh, re regulation in respect of lifts also. And uh, even I have seen some of the states don't have even the lift rules and regulations as on today. So I think it will take some time, but somehow we will we'll be arriving to some best solutions in respect of safety of your lifts. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. See, in respect of lift, recently the standards, uh, new standards have been published, IS 17900, that is series of standards that has replaced the old standard. That, of course, note we have to take. Okay, sir. Uh, taking cue from what you just mentioned, there are new responsibilities imposed on stakeholders by the recent changes in the laws related to electricity. Can you throw some light on that, sir? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> See, uh, what happens? Maradi do nahi thoda bolta. Kuthe hi electrical accidents hala, the tachi jawab dari fakta electrical contractor was sete ka ki ma jo electricity vapor to tachi avar sete ka ha ek phal mota prashna hai. Actually, as an IA, electricity the installation jahe, the safe and viversi thonia karta, number of stakeholders involved with that chamade, that starts right from uh, architect and uh, end is uh, the user. IS 18732, hey, donazar tevis made published a new standard ahe. That standard made number of stakeholders identify kelelehe, kutlia stakeholder chi kutli responsibility ahe, techamade fix kelelehe. Udanata Tumala Santo, high rise building made electrical shaft asna garjesa ahe, architect nature drawings made plan made electrical shaft as provide kelela nacel. He goes to Gharata, Tumala Vatilki as a hushak, the Kamumbai Kadaji Thot nacel, and Kaitikani hushak. The shaft as provide kelela nacel, he's of the architect sheet. Samda, transformer, generator, yogi zaga nacel. High rise building kata, standby electrical supply, atisha mahatashi gosta, emergency services, critical services, standby supply chi avashakta se. Pan tesa location kute asava. Building neither ak pakali, and building mothers the generator asel, the tesa upio kais ne. The chamare to mala uninterpreted supply mele karta, to mala location so the asa choose karla pajeki, that will be safe. Uh, yes, that it should give the service operations during the emergency also. Asha, anek goshti ahet ki jya goshti linked asa at ek mega shi, ata fire, fire jama hoto, te ma fire rating asa, ki darwajan sa kiti taas to darwaja withstand vayla paje, kamit kamit don taas vayla paje, hai material vapor na hai civil engineer vapor at asa, he is ab ab dari te achi hoote. To tumhi zar bahir la IS 18732 hai cha madhe, Art can no uh, authorities and uh, uh, some money stakeholder, even authorities, but touch them. They include Kelly Light and Pratika Chikai of Daria. Udanatha Tumal Sagat Mohatas of Russian Manja supply company just say, Tani Pratik consumer cha, my LT consumer cha, the world, sub point of supplies or meters or a earth terminal then a compulsory go stay. The tease of Dari Tachiate, some that the earth terminal is Dilan Asil, the ha. Regulation no sir, guna ho shakto. Ani regulation sa breach ha punishable under section 146 of Electricity Act. Asha kai goshti hai. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have been trying to introduce these standards and people have adopted them. My next question is actually to Mr. Ghosh. Ki as compared to the Western countries, where does in the safety in India, especially the building safety, stand according to him? India is a growing country. So we cannot actually compare that with the developed countries, already those are who are developed. So we cannot actually compare. We are now on the verge of being the developed countries. So we are getting into the all safety measures and parameters what we are doing and Surakshit Bharat ye ek abhiyan jo chalaya hua hai uske antargat hum log ab sare measures parameters follow karne ka koshish kar rahe hain jo bhi rules and regulations hai as well as the IS standards hai all we are trying to implement 
and slowly we are growing towards making our nation very much safe so okay so um, uh, this again this question to you mr ghosh that whenever there is a fire and you have been a responder uh, you so whenever there is a fire we hear that there was a blatant violation paper mein to hum yahi padhte hai ki usme fire hydrant nahi chalta tha ya fir gaadi ko access nahi milta tha ya fir fire alarm system chala hi nahi tha wo off karke rakha tha aise hum paper mein padhte hai to there are rules and regulations and there are uh, instructions given but why does this particular thing happen despite the rules and regulations according to your experience रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस बनते हैं टूटते हैं हमारी सेफ्टी के लिए ट्रैफिक ने बताया हेलमेट पहनना जरूरी है फोर व्हीलर में बैठे तो सीट बेल्ट लगाना जरूरी है और वी सी दैट सो मेनी पीपल आर ब्रेकिंग इट इज़ द माइंड सेट एंड यूजर हु इज देयर ही हैज़ टू सी दैट ही इज प्रॉपरली फॉलोइंग द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन सो इट इज़ अल्टीमेटली द वी हैव वी शुड फोकस of changing the mindset of the people who are the end users because rules are made that the system has to be maintained before a building is completed we give the provisional noc all the parameters are given and safety precautions are given accordingly the building is constructed then they come for the uh, final uh, completion of the building we go our officers go and they inspect and they we go as per all the certificates what they provide and we give the compliance for whatever the recommendations we have given after that the occupancy by the residents is taken over or by the uh, commercial if it is a commercial then by the commercial activities slowly and slowly by the passage of the time as per our need we make some changes addition alterations so that is the one thing which is not taken into account suppose for if i talk about this electrical things also the पर्टिकुलर सॉकेट और पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज डिजाइन फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर लोड वी गो ऑन इंक्रीजिंग हम वहाँ पे मल्टी ये लगाते हैं सॉकेट उसमें से सारे गैजेट्स अलग अलग लगा लेते हैं सो वी आर मेकिंग द चेंजेस एक अपने को पॉइंट दिया हुआ है उसका पर्टिकुलर उसका जो वायर है वो इट कैन कैरी अ पर्टिकुलर लोड करेंट वो उतना ही ले सकता है हम उससे ज़्यादा उससे ड्रॉ करते हैं सो देर आर चांसेस कि वहाँ पर हीट बढ़ जाए एंड देन इट कैन कैच फायर वैसे ही हमारे अगर फायर के बारे में बात किया जाए तो फायर का जो वहाँ पे सेफ्टी मेजर्स लगाए हुआ है ऑल द इंस्टॉलेशन इट इज़ मैंडेटरी फॉर द रेसिडेंट्स ऑक्यूपायर्स और द ओनर हु एवर इज देयर टू मेंटेन दैट सिस्टम इन गुड वर्किंग कंडीशन बट द थिंग इज दैट दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड पीपल जस्ट डू द थिंग एंड देन फॉरगेट इट सो द मेंटेनेंस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड अनलेस एंड अनटिल यू मेंटेन द थिंग्स यू आर नॉट गेटिंग टू गेट द मोस्ट आउट ऑफ इट इन केस ऑफ एमरजेंसीज so that is a problem that we are not getting the things over there so it is the mindset and unless and until we think that it is for our safety hum ek mobile lete hain 50000 ka 1 lakh ka mobile lete use karte but agar society ke maintenance mein 5000 rupaye agar salana dena padta hai maintenance ke liye to people tend to hesitate are yaar ye to bahut zyada ho raha hai ye to aisa hai this is for this mobile is only for me not for my family but this 5000 rupees is for my family entire family and i have taken purchase that flat for crores of rupees i have invested that but for the maintenance or for the safety of that i don't want to invest in anything so that is the problem absolutely right sir and uh, the story continues in our societies and perhaps everywhere so uh, i 100% concur with him my uh, uh, next question is actually to mr ullas wazre मिस्टर उल्लास वजरे इज ए चार्टर्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी इंजीनियर तो वजरे जी ये चार्टर्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी इंजीनियर का क्या मतलब है ये कैसे आप, आपने किया है पूरा या एक्चुअली दिस चार्टर्ड इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी इंजीनियर कॉन्सेप्ट वाज इंट्रोड्यूस इन द रिवाइज और यू कैन से दिस सी ए रेगुलेशन टू जीरो टेन वेन इट वॉज रिवाइज इन टू that time it was introduced uh, a chartered engineer safety engineer and then it was under clause 5a but now recently under uh, the ca safety regulations 2023 it is regulation 6 which defines a chartered electrical safety engineer he has to be authorized by the appropriate government from amongst the people who are having experience and qualification 
which is uh, specified as some 10 years experience for a diploma engineer and 5 years for a graduate engineer and who could clear the exam of the chartered electrical safety engineer can be authorized by the uh, chief electrical inspectorate or the people carrying out the inspection work. This was a concept basically to assist the owner or supplier or consumer to carry out self-certification of his installation. Uh, sir, uh, Vajra sir has been an auditor and he has audited a number of uh, installations, both industrial and buildings. But today we will talk building. Ki baat Vajra ji, when you audit building, ka audit karte hai, to aapke primary observations kya hota hai? And you have to be absolutely frank in telling what you have observed. Without primary observations means there are a lot of violations as far as the regulations are concerned, as far as the NEC is concerned, NBC is concerned and all other standards related to fire safety of buildings are violated. That's the basic cause of all the fires and accidents. Uh, would you want to talk about the ELCBs, the earthing related issues in particular? And what you think is the most important thing is that it gets missed out in many places. No, there are two, three issues. First of all, see, we see some high-rise buildings which are by reputed builders. So normally, they hire some consultants and they have some RCDs and some other devices in place. But for ordinary builders, I have seen, they don't provide even RCDs. So forget about measurement of fault loop impedance and then carrying out other tests. They have isolators in the main incomer. So it's not possible to trip it automatically. This is a major cause of fires. Yes. And I mean, the audience has to note this experience. Ki kuch log incomers mein, the first incomer itself is an isolator. So our automatic tripping. remote tripping bhi nahi ho sakta us circuit ka. So that is one of the major issues that he has observed. Another observation, if you see, majority of the electrical installations or fire installations are concerned, to my knowledge, there is no supervision by competent people at the time of installations. And this is a lacking factor in India. There has to be supervision by competent persons who understand the safety in totality. Most of the people you will find at site, they, you will find so many supervisors, but they are, do not have knowledge in the electrical safety or fire safety. There were problems, creeps up. Correct. And uh, this has been an uh, observation at other sites also. That brings me to the right hand side of this dais. Uh, we have Mr. Kamlesh Shah, who is an electrical contractor. So, Bajare Sahib ne jo kaha ki safety ka acha supervision hona chahiye, both perhaps from your side, from a contractor's perspective, as well as from a client's perspective. So, my question would be ki, how do you manage safety in your organization and at site? Sir, we provide one safety supervisor for a team of not exceeding 30 people. <clears throat> and that supervisor, those four supervisors report to a one senior supervisor. And that hierarchy goes up to me. The safety department reports to me directly. It is not reporting to the site people at all. That's how they are made independent and free to work and free to enforce the security and safety at site. That's a very correct approach because the, finally the management and the owner is directly responsible and um, uh, safety ka violation hota hai, the, as per the escalation matrix, it goes back directly to the owner only. I think that's a very good thing that you have mentioned that uh, the top boss, the buck stop, stops at the top boss's table. So, uh, so they are not influenced by anyone at the site when they are enforcing the safety of people and the property at site. Kamlesh ji, uh, one interesting question for you. Uh, NEC 2023, baad, uh, do you think there has been a change at site? Or just as it was before, it was the same as it was. I am not talking about your particular site. You will also work with all subcontractors. So, you will know what you will know. So, I am not saying that he is talking only about himself, but perhaps he is representing some of the more contractors that he has perhaps met. NEC 2023, what changed in your work? percolation will take some time. But if you do not see from the contractor's perspective, but see from the client perspective, they are there to enforce the safety. So 
या ई एल सी बी लगाना जो है या तो कैलिब्रेशन ऑफ द टेस्टिंग इक्विपमेंट जो साइट पे करते हैं अरे साइट पे जो यूज़ करते हैं उसका कैलिब्रेशन है या तो पी पी ही है वो तो अभी नॉर्म्स बन गए हैं प्रैक्टिकली सेवेंटी टू एट्टी परसेंट साइट्स पे ये आपको देखने मिलेंगे कि ये सेफ्टी इज बीइंग एनफोर्स्ड फ्रॉम अ कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स परस्पेक्टिव लेट्स लुक एट अ मैनुफैक्चर परस्पेक्टिव माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू देव ज्योति मुखर्जी साहब Dev Jyoti Mukherjee is a technical marketing person at Polycab. So I'll ask you about wires and cables. From a building safety point of view, what type of wires and cables do you think are required? Yeah. <clears throat> at first, uh, good evening to everybody, all panelists, and all uh, <clears throat> everybody sitting here. And uh, thank you very much for inviting me here in the panel. And uh, to answer your question. is that uh, there are different kind of uh, different types of wires and cables are available in the market and um, as a manufacturer we follow all this statutory requirement of nec or bis standards and the different kinds of uh, wire and cables available in the market like fire retardant fire retardant low smoke low halogen then hffr which is called <coughs> halogen free fire retardant cables these are widely used in the buildings uh, high rise building industry hospitals schools everywhere and there are some uh, unique cables are also available in the market which is called fire survival cable so these are the cables widely used and uh, many many uh, industries many high rise building complex people are using this and uh, but there are some uh, lagging behind that uh most of the people who are where we have we have seen uh people are not following the nec national electrical code and they try to use whatever product uh, is available in anywhere suppose i will tell you one uh, small uh, uh <clears throat> story is that suppose if you have a building uh, let us say you have a three bedroom flat now a lot of people a lot of uh, wires are available in the market like fr if are less then each a paper now question is that which where you will uh, you will install which area so that is a major question nec guideline is little bit not there but we are the supplier we can thoroughly guide you so simple uh, thing is that in your bathroom let us say in your bathroom or corridor you do not use your switch or your light number of times so let us say 10% or 20% of the 24 hours you are using this so they are only fr where is suitable now if in this living room or kitchen where the light is continuously on they are always you should use frls each where or we have a product which is called green wire is highly safety is highly hygienic environmental free so this kind of wires to be used so this uh, guidance is always there and people should always use this uh that, that is a very good input that you have given uh ek one minute see uh, regarding high rise building it is clearly mentioned in national electrical code at least fr lss cable shall be used so that is already there in uh, national electrical code and of course now they have mentioned at certain places hff cable has also to be used that has come in uh, ca regulations also ca regulation number 38 i think it is sub regulation number 3 or so so that is there for high rise building fr lss is the minimum Uh, insulation grade required for the cable installation one more thing i just wanted to know regarding this cables um, see uh, we have seen that uh, many people are using class 5 wires for the fixed type of installations the national electrical code doesn't allow to use to use uh, class 5 uh, wires at least it should be class 1 or class 2 so what is your experience um, in this regard okay it's a good question um, nec Uh, has make it mandatory that to use class 2 conductor and uh, many suppliers many manufacturers are manufacturing class 2 wire even polycab is also manufacturing class 2 wire and this is available in the market so the added advantage is that class 2 wire if you use so you will have a more current carrying capacity because it is having low resistance but class 5 wire the current carrying capacity is little bit less 
but the added advantage is that it is highly flexible. So electricians normally they like to make a to use flexible wires so that the installation will be very very fast. Uh, class two wire is little bit harder than uh, class five, so they don't want that much because they that consumption of time of wiring will be very very little bit higher than this class five. So that is the choice of the customer, but the material is available in this uh, market. Business is always there, even, even class two will be mandatory, the business will be not having any effect on this. Business ka sawal pushte hai, ki NEC ane ke baad ye class two or class five ka jo difference hua, usse kya aapka class five ka sale thoda kam aur class two ka sale bad gaya? Class, class five ka, uh, always requirement is always high because wherever is a big project like big high rise buildings or wherever installation of uh, industrial park nowadays there's industrial park so people like to use class 5 wire because the faster installation all those things but uh, nec introduction hone se baad class 2 ka business bada nahi aur class 5 ka bhi business kam nahi hua at this moment so there has been little or no impact at, at the at this moment, level. no impact. I was talking to Mr. Gopal Kumar sometimes back that uh, what is happening now because we have done a lot of seminars, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of seminars all over India uh, for awareness, but uh, that way we did not get much response from the uh, consumer or users. Sorry, sir, this is a challenge, ha, ha, isn't it? I have a contract कि रेगुलेशन 14 गोपा कुमार ने संगीत लकी नेशनल इरिकेटल कोड एंड स्टैंडर्ड शाल बी फॉलोड अतः है जो शाल बी फॉलोड आए हैं रेगुलेशन में जो स्पष्ट मंडल ले लाए हैं आणि ब्रीच ऑफ रेगुलेशन है 146 सेक्शन अनवाये पनिशे बला है तला मजे फायर मजे पेनल्टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी एंड इम्प्रिजनमेंट दो तो ही गोष्ट है सीरियसली कहला पाई जाए कि तुम्हारे जो नेशनल रिकल कोड में दे जो संगीत ले लाए थे कंपलसरीली फॉलो करना घर जैसा है कदाचित ऐसे उगड़ की साल की बाबा एक हजार ठीक नहीं एक्सीडेंट झाला ला है यानी तीते योग्य प्रकाश वायर वापर ले के ले लेना होता है मुझे एफआर एलएसएस वायर पहेज थी ते एफआर वापर ली कि वहाँ क्लास टू चाहे जी क्लास फाइव कंडक्टर वापर ला के लाम आणि तेज जर अपगत है लाजर कारणी बहुत कुटले अर्थानी जर होता सिर्फ़ � कि माला महीत है। I have seen contracts very closely. I have seen the even consultant also very closely. What happens? The consultant prepares the design, and the contractor is made to follow whatever design prepared by the consultant. He has to follow that. So यह अच्छा मतलब एक difficulty आ चुकी है। कदा जित सुखी से design जब बनोले ऐसे consultant नहीं, तो electrical contract नहीं सुखी से design पर मने काम करा बका। Actually, if you have a need for the regulation of the 40s, you have to do the work of the standard of the standard. You have to follow the construct and the work of the standard. If you have to do the design, you have to do the electrical contractor. You have to do the work of the standard against the standard. And if you have to do the work of the standard, you have to do the work of the standard. You have to do the work of the standard. You have to do the work of the standard. You have to clear the work of the standard. At the time of the beginning. अगदी योग्य मार्गदर्शन के लिए साइड साबन नहीं कई वर्षन पूर्वी मी देखिल एका इंग्रज साहबा जखली काम कर रहे थे माजी कंपनी मल्टीनेशनल होती अमी मुंबई चा ऑफिस में बसुन बाहर चे देशातली एडवांस कंट्रीज में ले प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे थे अन्य त्या प्रोजेक्ट्स में हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी वर्ती खूब एम्पेसिस � and you should look at always कि कुठे अपन जातो है तिथे safe आए का area है तुम्हाला बगता आला पाई जे and that you should be able to tell to your juniors also मी तंचर बाइक दे argue केलो था कि आपले कच्ची local जी है ती local train मन नहीं था पावसा रात local train पकडून office ला wherever पोसने ही जी एक कला है ही safety में दे मोड़ते का है तम मी वाजा साइबाला विचार ले ला प्रश्न है कि तुम्ही स्वतः youtube channel लोगों ने बगा सेफ्टी काय फॉलो करतो ऑफिस में दे पोस्ट ले औरती तेरना तेरा माइंडसेट चेंज कर रहा था अन्य देन ही हैज टू अप्लाई माइंड थिंक फ्रॉम अ यूएस और यूके पॉइंट ऑफ यू एंड डू द डिजाइन अकॉर्डिंगली एंड देन वंस अगेन एट से फाइव फाइव थर्टी ही हैज टू स्विच बैक एंड गो टू द लोकल ट्रेन एंड फ 
especially in rainy season in Mumbai, traveling in train is a big challenge, which all of us, all of you might be aware. So my my question would come to the to Mr. Kamlesh ji that we follow, as as he said, there are certifications, there are guidelines, there is there is ISO 9001, there is ISO 14001. Do you really think that ISO 14001 works? I mean, people have got that certification. Everybody has got it. But uh, do we really follow it in total? It definitely works. <coughs> see, first of all, you see the people having 14001 definitely have 9001. And 9001 stresses upon the finding the risk to the business. We as an electrical contractor, the biggest risk is from such incidents which are against safety. So, in my belief, 14,001 descends from 9,001 for people like us, where we are continuously working in an environment where the safety is a concern. So, 14,001 has helped. The 14,001 approach is top to bottom. 45,000 approach is top to bottom. So people at the top connect with the bottom people. There is a cohesiveness. There is a one aspect of continual improvement. We need to have continual improvement year by year for the audit purpose even. So people are accustomed to improve their life and their work practices towards safety. Kamlesh ji has told a good point that this is a continual improvement where they have to work towards the safety. Kamlesh ji, a frank question. When the work of your installation comes to the end, you have to visit the electrical inspector's visit. What do you think in your mind? He is welcome to come at any point of time in our site. Can you say the same thing about the general construction going on in Mumbai? Can you say the same thing about the general construction going on in Mumbai? Sir, I can tell about my company, my work. Okay, good, good, good. So, Kamlesh ji, uh, if there would be a high-rise building which is, say, 40 years old, or if I have given you a lightning protection assessment ka ek project, then how will you do challenges in that project? Sir, first of all, how will you think about how to get up and down? How will you think about how to get up and down? How will you think about how to get up and down? How will you think about it? नई अर्थिंग बनाने देंगे कि नहीं देंगे लाइटनिंग एरेस्टिंग लाइटनिंग एरेस्टर लगाना है लेकिन अर्थिंग पिट बनाने देंगे कि नहीं वो भी एक सवाल होता है सो वो गंडोला वगैरह का अरेंजमेंट सोचना पड़ेगा कंटिन्यूटी व्हाट इज़ द बेस्ट रूट टू कम डाउन इट विच इज़ द शोर्टेस्ट एंड अगेन टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द एस्थेटिक्स ऑफ द बिल्डिंग वी हैव टू सजेस्ट दैट रूट दिस आर द पॉइंट्स इन एन ऑल बिल्डिंग कम्स टू आवर माइंड IC62305 को जब IS में एडॉप्ट किया गया, उसके बाद काफी बिल्डिंग्स में ये उन्होंने मतलब सोचना स्टार्ट किया कि हमको भी शायद लाइटनिंग प्रोटेक्शन का असेसमेंट करना चाहिए। लेकिन मैं खुद एस ऑडिटर कभी गया हूँ एंड आई हैव फाउंड दिस चैलेंज कि द कॉस्ट ऑफ दी स्कैफोल्डिंग इफ इट इज़ डायरेक्टेड इज मच मोर देन द कॉस्ट ऑफ लाइटनिंग प्रोटेक्शन सो इसको सॉल्व कैसे किया जाएगा एंड देन देयर आर द शॉर्टकट्स सो माय माय क्वेश्चन वुड बी टू मिस्टर उल्लास वजरे सर हम लोग इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी को कई बार बायपास करते हैं कई बार हम उसको सोचते कि हां ये तो चल जाएगा अकॉर्डिंग टू यू हु इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्रीब्यूटर फॉर नॉट फॉलोइंग इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी See, for not following electrical safety, there are so many factors. There are people, uh, maybe designers, at the stage of designing certain parameters related to electrical fire safety are neglected. Then there are installers, they also neglect certain parameters. So it all leads to total chaos and unsafe conditions, which leads ultimately to fire accidents. Right, right. तो लेकिन ये सब करने के बाद जब भी हम देखते हैं कि बिल्डिंग में सेफ नहीं है, तो उसका ऑडिट भी नहीं होता है कि आपने ऐसे एक्सपीरियंस किया है? Yes, yes. There are buildings and installations where almost two decades, three decades they have not conducted any audit or neither they have conducted any maintenance activities. So there are cases. So my my next question would be to Mr. Ghosh. Uh, does your department have a sewer motto? Um, I mean, does your department go and make spot observations? Let's go to the building and see if 
फायर का इक्विपमेंट चालू है क्या ऐसे कभी आप अप्रोच करते हैं कभी कभी तुम्हें धाट डालता टकता का अशी यस दिस इज द प्रॉपर वर्ड धाट टाकता का हो धार टाकतो आम्ही ऑथरिटी पण आहे आम्हाला पण त्याला प्रॉपर प्रोसिजर आहे ॲज पर द महाराष्ट्र फायर प्रिव्हेन्शन अँड लाईफ सेफ्टी मेजर्स ॲक्ट टू थाउजंड सिक्स वी हॅव द ऑथरिटी टू इन्स्पेक्ट एनी बिल्डिंग बट फॉलोइंग द प्रॉपर प्रोसिजर टू अवर्स थ्री अवर्स नोटीस हॅज टू बी सर्व टू देम अँड देन ओनली यू कॅन इन्स्पेक्ट द थिंग्स बट इन केस ऑफ एमर्जन्सी येस वी कॅन इन्स्पेक्ट एनी प्रिमायसेस ॲट एनी गिवन पॉईंट ऑफ टाईम अँड वी डू रेग्युलर इन्स्पेक्शन्स including my cfo to deputy to all up to the station officer last level up to we have given the all parameters uh, uh, which building to be inspected by which officer and which uh, occupancy has to be inspected by which officer and accordingly every month they have been given some quotas acha two buildings four buildings 10 buildings so it is not possible with the uh, whatever the officers we are strength of the officers we are having to inspect all the buildings so randomly we are trying or maybe some complaints are there or maybe some uh, fire is there so then we uh, give the priority to that building otherwise randomly we go and we inspect the buildings as far as this electric audit is concerned as per the central uh, electrical authority of india uh, recently that gadget has come and it has been made mandatory to do the audit earlier also it was there but again that reminder has come uh, that elect- electrical audit has to be done by the owner occupier by the government authorities like it is a state matter so like our cp uh, pwd and uh, electrical inspectors are there and chartered engineers they are authorized to do the electrical audits and that is made mandatory nowadays oh that's a wonderful thing and i think we are in the right direction yeah. taking queue i have a question for mr heman sai sai saheb um, हाय राईज बिल्डिंग ही नुसती कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग नसते तर कधी कधी सरकारी बिल्डिंग पण असते हो आणि सरकारी बिल्डिंग म्हटलं की लोक थोडंसं थांबतात थबकतात हाय राईज सरकारी बिल्डिंग आणि हाय राईज कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग ह्याच्या इलेक्ट्रिकल इन्स्टॉलेशनमध्ये तुम्ही कधी फरक जाणवला आहे का तुम्हाला नियम सगळ्यांना सारखे आहेत सरकारी बिल्डिंगला वेगळा आणि कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग वेगळा असं नाही आहे फक्त एक आहे की सरकारी बिल्डिंगचं इलेक्ट्रिकल डिझाईन करताना नियम सगळे पाळले जातात कारण जे इंजिनियर्स जे आहेत ते रिस्क कुठली घेत नाही तर चुकलं आपलं काही तर जबाबदारी आपल्याला फिक्स होऊ शकते त्याच्यामुळे गव्हर्नमेंट बिल्डिंगचं इलेक्ट्रिकल डिझाईन परफेक्ट असतं त्याच्यामध्ये नॉर्म्स किंवा स्टँडर्ड स्पेसिफिकेशन्समध्ये कुठे फारकत घेतली जात नाही प्रायव्हेटमध्ये याची गॅरंटी देता येत नाही आपल्याला याच्यामध्ये कारण जे लोक डिझाईन करतात त्याच्या केपेबिलिटीवर त्याच्या नॉलेजवर आणि त्याच्या रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी घेण्याच्या कॅपॅसिटीवर खूप गोष्टी अवलंबून असतात तर त्याची गॅरंटी म्हणजे कामाची क्वालिटीच्या बाबतीत गॅरंटी मी असं नाही म्हणत काही प्रायव्हेट कामं वाईट असतात प्रायव्हेट कामंसुद्धा चांगलीच असतात कदाचित गव्हर्नमेंट बिल्डिंगपेक्षासुद्धा जास्त चांगल्या क्वालिटीचं काम तिकडे होऊ शकत असेल पण याची अशुरन्स देताना फार अवघड आहे आणि आता घोष साहेब जे नुकतंच म्हणाले की जे रेग्युलेशनमध्ये जी आहे की ऑडिट पिरॉडिकल इन्स्पेक्शन बिल्डिंगचं व्हायला पाहिजे ती खूप गरजेची गोष्ट आहे पण ह्याच्यामध्ये प्रॅक्टिकल एक डिफिकल्टी आपण अशी लक्षात घ्यायला पाहिजे की सफिशियंट नंबर ऑफ चार्टर्ड इलेक्ट्रिक सेफ्टी इंजिनियर्स नाही आहेत गव्हर्नमेंटचा इन्स्पेक्टरेट विंगकडे अतिशय कमी स्टाफ आहे की जो एवढ्या प्रचंड प्रमाणातली एल टी इन्स्पेक्शन करूच शकत नाही नियम आहे पण तो इम्प्लिमेंट कसा करायचा एन्फोर्स कसा करायचा ही पण एक फार मोठी गोष्ट आहे याच्यावर काही मार्ग काढणं अतिशय गरजेचं आहे आणि याच्याकरता सिरियसली शासनाने पुढाकार घेऊन सोप्या पद्धतीने काय याच्यावर मार्ग काढता येईल ते बघणं गरजेचं आहे सरकारी बिल्डिंगमध्ये आम्ही एक गोष्ट बघतो की तिथे एक करंट शेड्यूल ऑफ रेट्स म्हणून एक प्रकार असतो सी एस आर असतो आणि सी एस आरमध्ये काही रेट्स दिलेले असतात तर ह्या रेट्समध्ये कॉन्ट्रॅक्टर्सना इलेक्ट्रिकल सेफ्टी आणि न जनरल सेफ्टी ही मॅनेज करता येते हो हो ते रेट्स जे आहेत ते अतिशय बारकाईने मी ॲक्च्युली तुम्हाला सांगतो मी जवळजवळ अठरा ते वीस वर्ष शेड्यूल ऑफ रेट्स डिझाईन करत होतो कमिटी तेवर काम केलेलं आहे मी आणि गव्हर्नमेंटचं जे पी डब्ल्यू डीचं इलेक्ट्रिकल स्पेसिफिकेशन्सचं बुक आहे त्याच्यामध्ये सुद्धा माझं कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन आहे आम्ही हे रेट्स डिझाईन करताना संपूर्ण त्याचा डेटा कलेक्ट करतो मार्केटमधून 
आणि त्यानुसार स्टँडर्डनुसार जे रिक्वायर्ड आहे प्र पर्टिक्युलर गोष्टीला उदाहरणार्थ धरून झालं की तुम्ही पॉईंट वायरिंग हा आयटेम आहे करायचा आहे तर पॉईंट वायरिंग करता मिनिमम साईज ऑफ वायर वन पॉईंट फाईव्ह स्क्वेअर एम एम कॉपरची सांगितलेली आहे तर वन पॉईंट फाईव्ह स्क्वेअर एम एम वायरची कॉस्ट किती आहे त्याची किती लेंथ लागेल त्याला लागणारा पाईप कॉन्ड्यूट किती लागेल त्याच्या स्विचची कॉस्ट काय त्याच्या बॉक्सची कॉस्ट काय त्याबरोबर अर्थिंग नसेल त्याची कॉस्ट काय त्याचं पूर्ण डिटेल रेट ॲनालिसिस करून आम्ही त्याचा रेट डिझाईन करतो आणि अतिशय बारकाईने करतो मग ह्याच्यामध्ये अजिबात हेर घाय तुम्हाला जर कुठलाही रेटचा जर रेट अनिस असेल तर आमच्याकडे डिटेल रेट अनिस मिळू शकतो याच्यामध्ये हार्डवेअर किती लागेल त्या गोष्टीला लेबर किती वेळ लागेल मॅन मॅन आवर्स किती लागतील त्याच्यामध्ये स्किल्डचा किती वेळ लागेल अनस्किल्डचा किती वेळ लागेल ह्याचं इतकं डिटेल कॅल्क्युलेशन करून केलेलं असतं आणि ते सी एस आर खरोखर म्हणजे खूप इंटरेस्टिंग असतात तुम्हाला एक सांगायचं म्हणजे आमचा सी एस आर खूप चांगला आहे खूप लोक बाहेरचे लोकसुद्धा तो रेफर करतात आणि अतिशय मेहनत त्याच्यावर घेतली जाते हे मी तुम्हाला सांगू शकतो कारण मी स्वतः आय ॲड बीन पार्ट ऑफ दॅट तू साईटला प्रोजेक्ट मॅनेज करणे ही सुद्धा एक कला आहे दर इज अन आर्ट टू मॅनेज द साईट अँड वॉट आय हॅव एक्सपिरियन्स इज दॅट जनरली द फायर सर्वायवल केबल्स यू नो दे आर द लास्ट टू बी ऑर्डर्ड बिकॉज ऑफ नंबर ऑफ रिझन्स माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू मिस्टर देव ज्योती मुखर्जी फायर सर्वायवल केबल्स दे गेट ऑर्डर्ड ॲट द स्पर ऑफ द मोमेंट हमको दो दिन मे फायर सर्वायवल केबल चाहिए ॲसा आपको कभी आया एक्सपिरियन्स सर कभी कभी आता है एक्चुअली uh, ये प्रोडक्ट दिस प्रोडक्ट इज वेरी यूनिक प्रोडक्ट एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज आर वेरी वेरी हाईली डिफरेंट सो दो दिन में प्रोड्यूस करके देना इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग इज दिस प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट अ स्टॉक आइटम सो इफ यू सी हाउस वेयर वन पॉइंट फाइव और टू पॉइंट फाइव इवन अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड स्क्वायर एम इट इज अ स्टॉक इट कैन बी अ स्टॉक आइटम बट दिस इज अ नॉट स्टॉक आइटम so uh, user has to plan properly and polycap has reduced the time frame up to 2 weeks so today if you place the order so within 2 weeks this cable can be delivered to the customer correct so th- that is a big change actually kyunki do hafte mein cables milna kabhi kabhi site pe because of the site management becomes yeah. a challenge but then there are these pressures always but i want to add with this is that this particular cable requires lot of raw material which some sometimes we have to import from the outside of india and we have to keep the stock so that polycap is doing because polycap has a backward in, strong backward integration we manufacture lot of uh, copper aluminum polymer all those things we are uh, manufacturing ourselves so that's why polycap can uh, supply this material very fast and also users when they they should take this cable they should see whether it is a lpcb approval is there LPCB is loss prevention board which is from UK with uh, con- with collaboration with British standard they are giving that certificate that is uh, in britain in europe it is mandatory but in, in india it has not been mandatory but i request please see LPCB approval that will give a adi- added uh, reliability while there is a high fire situation Uh, mukherjee sir do you have an example where an r&d is conducted on your product and improvised based on site feedback aisa koi udaharan hai aapke paas udaharan hai i'll tell you one small story uh, sometimes back in calcutta or kolkata now it is say kolkata so there one was hospital the name of the hospital is amri amri and uh, suddenly in that hospital there was a fire and in that fire 95 patient died so then after that ncrb so national crime bureau record they have gone for the investigation and they found that out of 95 patients 92 patients they died without any burning mark they were peculiar then the analysis has done that the people killed because of toxicity and smoke so they inhaled lot of toxicity so toxic gases not only from wear and cable it is from ac cabinets uh, wherever in the uh, beds wherever uh, it is their paints all toxic material came out and then patient died because of that 92 patient so this was analyzed and then we in polycap we have a research and labor uh, research and development laboratory which is uh, recommended by indian ministry so we analyze this and then we have developed some of the cable we found that whenever there is a fire if by chance wear and cable catches the fire if you use fire retardant product fire retardant cable normally normal temperature they does not 
they do not catch the fire. But at 250 degree temperature, the normal FR fire retardant wire will also catches fire. Now this normal fire retardant cable, when it catches fire, so there is an internal chemical reaction. And this reaction gives a lot of heat. And this heat helps to propagate the flame. But that is the thing happens. Now, when there's a fire, a lot of heat evolves, and then a lot of flame propagates, and when firefighter or anybody goes, because of the oxygen depletion or smoke, they died also. So, in Polycab, we have produced cable now, even though at 250 degree, we say 300 degree uh, temperature, even though it catches fire, so there will be a, no chemical reaction on this and no heat evolved on this. So, it is basically, we say, uh, restriction of sp uh, spreading of fire. So those product recently we have developed and that is in UK also uh, they have accepted, accepted this. They, they calculate as a how much calorie is coming out from burning of the cable. So those things we have tested. So that is a major work done in the research and development laboratory. Fantastic, sir. So this fire triangle jo hai, jis mein, uh, the uh, fuel is the cable itself, the metal and the insulation. The uh, heat comes from within the panels plus from the latent heat and oxygen, presence of oxygen. It is a fire triangle. Baad, uske jo fourth point hai, that is chemical reaction. So, if you can control it, that's actually very good. So, uh, very good uh, example, sir. Uh, one question is there for Mr. Mukherjee. Uh, see, oxygen index for FR cable is 29. So, in oxygen, in a normal atmosphere, there is 21% oxygen. So, how the FR cable can catch fire if there is no 29% oxygen? No, this is a good question. Many people do not ask this. We always say 29% oxygen index. So, what is oxygen index that we have to know? So, when uh, normal condition, the oxygen is 21%. Now, if we increase the oxygen level to 29%, then the fire will that where we'll catch. That is the thing we are testing. That is why we say it is at 29% oxygen index. But anytime do you feel that oxygen will come up to 29%? So it is never possible. If it comes 29% oxygen level, we will not live here. So what happens? 29% oxygen level, that data we will collect. And then we plot into a graph and then plot into a temperature index. So that temperature index means if it is a 29% oxygen index, temperature index will be 250 degree. Okay. So, every, every material, there is a flash point. So, normal case, normal temperature, this will not catch fire. But 29% oxygen, oxygen index means at 250 degree temperature, it will catch fire. Some material oxygen index is 31 or 32. Then the temperature index is 300 degree. So, that 300 degree, it will catch fire. Cement, oxygen index is such that at 1100 degree temperature, this will catch fire. So those are the things. We calculate this way. Right, sir. That's, that's a very good piece of information. I, I will uh, add one more thing. Uh, I understand that uh, today that Mr. Sali has uh, drafted some of the part of uh, NEC. And NEC is beautifully drafted, 763 pages. And the, everything is given over there for guidance. And uh, thanks to Mr. Sali, but I personally feel that there is no audit for that. Even I am staying in a high-rise building, but we did not find any time there is an audit. So I request this uh, forum to do some audit so that this thing should be in implemented. And the safety will increase 50 to 60% more, I believe. Right, right, sir. 